Hello everybody, it's just about time for us to launch in that uh, reading through the Bible in the year, breakthrough in 22, and uh, I just want to just share with you a couple things. Uh, we're going to make this video available every day, a five minute kind of overview of what we've read every day just to help, but uh, this is going to be good. It's going to be good for you, it's going to be good for your families, it's going to be good for the church. So I want to just encourage you, make sure that you get your Bible that you're going to be reading through together, have your plan that we're making available to you. We're hoping to even make it possible for you to have an online phone app that you'd be able to use and walk through uh, reading the Bible in a year. If you read uh, on the plan, it should we should be able to do it in about 12 minutes. If you're not a real great reader, then we're going to offer some audio versions that you'll be able to listen to it, even as you're driving to and from work, or you just want to read along as someone else is reading it. Um, but we're trying to make this so that it's an exciting experience for, for everybody. Uh, so um, second thing is prayer. I want to just encourage you to begin the practice of praying every day. You know, if we read the Bible and it takes about 12 minutes, I'd like to challenge each and every one to 20 minutes of prayer every day. Maybe it's 10 minutes in you know, in, in the morning and 10 minutes at night. But could you just, that importance of just getting in, together alone with God and meditating and allowing, listening to the voice of God, uh, this is going to be, uh, I think, life-changing for us. I, I would like to encourage you to participate in uh, our prayer meetings that we're going to have every week on Wednesday from 6 to 7. And uh, there's going to be daily Bible studies. Uh, we'll post so that if you wish to slip in and be a part of a Bible study, talk about what we've been reading, uh, maybe to ask questions. We want to make those available. Maybe we'll have a day Bible study, an evening Bible study every week so you can be a part of that. I would say to you it's important to get a journal or a book that you're able to jot down highlights. Because when you read the scriptures, maybe there'll be two, three things that you'll read just kind of stand out to you. You can highlight those and write them down and just, you know, submit your book. I find that, you know, listening is <clears throat> will help you to retain maybe 30%, but when you when you see it and you read it, then, you know, you're upward 50%. But if you'll see it, read it, hear it, and write it down, um, I think they suggest that you will retain about 80% of what you, uh, what you see. So but I just want to challenge you to be a part of this. This, this is going to change your life. And uh, if Sunday, I'm going to encourage you to come be a part of our service this Sunday because we'll be diving into talking about how uh, this is all going to work. Uh, also, if you need help with getting an app on your phone or, um, you know, you have questions about this plan that we're doing, uh, you'll be able to talk with uh, me or some other people and we'll help to get you all fixed up on that. If you're not receiving daily texts, it's going to be important, too, that... Uh, you uh, let us know about that. We'll try to resolve that problem as well uh, this uh, this Sunday. Hey, I, I really do believe that this is going to be a life-changing journey, that it's going to... Already we're hearing, before we even have started, how God is performing some fantastic miracles. And uh, hopefully Sunday you're going to hear about one or two of those and how God is already intervening and doing some things. And I, when I say breakthrough 22, I just really believe that some of you have struggled with some adversity, difficulties, health issues, uh, that uh, this year with our concentrated prayer, fasting, that's the other thing is to consider how you're gonna fast. Are you gonna fast you know, certain uh, foods? Are you gonna fast certain days? Uh, but there's something about fasting that the Bible tells us that uh, these difficult things can only come out by prayer and fasting. So I just want to challenge you. Uh, I'm so grateful we've got, I think, uh, up to around 115 people now from our church that's participating in this journey. And uh, that's just incredible. It really is. It's remarkable, consider. I'm going to try to keep these videos to about five minutes. Uh, so when uh, we begin this, if you haven't yet, uh, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel, uh, Fraser Road Church of God. And there's a little bell there. Uh, click the bell. You'll be notified when the new video is um, uploaded. So, hey, listen, um, so grateful. Can't wait. Excited. We'll be giving opportunities for people to testify, share what God is uh, doing in your life. And and uh, and we're just going to make ourselves available. It's going to change. It's going to change you. Um, can't wait to uh, talk with you Sunday about it. So, hey, you be blessed. Get ready. Uh, January 1st is going to be here on Saturday. We're going to dive head first into this. So in the name of Jesus, be blessed.